Good evening and welcome to Robin's Fanatics TV with me AJ uh, doing the vlog for today's pitching in Eastman League Premier Division fixture between Carshall and Athletic and Bognor Regis Town. Uh, in the previous fixture played at Naywood Lane earlier this season uh, both teams drew 3-3 and Carshall had a good 3-1 lead but uh, got pegged back to get a share of the points. Uh, as current standings go in the league table, Carshall and Athletic are currently sitting in 7th place and uh, Bognor Regis are down in 14th. Um, as for team changes, uh, there was just one change from the defeat at Cray Wanderers on Saturday for Carshall. Um, it was just Alex Crofey uh, coming in for Ollie Cook who's nursing an injury. So um, yeah. Uh, Matty Vega starts, he starts again his second consecutive Carshall match. Um, the last results for the clubs, obviously on Saturday, uh, Bogner scored five at uh, Harringay Borough. Um, we were winning 5-2. I think that was a top two game as well, I think, uh, for what I can gather. And of course, Carshall, after taking the lead, went down to a 2-1 defeat uh, at Cray Wanderers. Um, as for uh, the form, well, Carshorton have not been on the greatest forms. They've only just managed to take one point out of 12 um, before today. Um, and last season, uh, the Bognor Aegis came to Colston Avenue and went back with a 1 0 victory. And their recent record at Colston Avenue has been pretty good. Um, I think that they've won about five matches in a row. So, um, yeah, it's uh, sort of. One of our bogey teams at, at Colson Avenue, but we put paid to that today, as uh, as we came through, winning two one. Uh, yeah, after going a goal down. Uh, quick recap of the game. I mean, the first half. I think Carshawn had the better of it. I mean, the the goalkeeper, uh, their goalkeeper, had to pull off at least two good saves. And um, I don't think Bracken had a couple of easy catches to make, but I don't think they troubled him too much. Um, yeah. Um, early penalty pill for the Robins. Uh, Femi Akimondo was pushed in the back in, in the penalty area, but the referee saw fit not to give the penalty, which you know, looked stonewall to us, but the referee said no. So, um, yeah. Uh, and the next chance for the Robins came from Calvin Expertita. And um, he's, he, had a, he had a good shot, which was well saved by the uh, keeper, by the Bogner keeper. Yeah, by the Bogner's keeper, Kirian uh, Cahill. Uh, but uh, Kosh Shorten did finally actually get a penalty. Again, Femi uh, had a nice little run. And um, uh, he was, again, shoved in the back in the... In the penalty area, this time the referee did see fit to give a penalty. So, yeah, right on the strike up half time. Uh, yeah, uh, so after a bit of arguing from the defence, uh, uh, Tom Beer put the penalty down and fired it wide. <laughs> yeah, went for power more than placement. So, um, yeah, it went just wide of the post. So, uh, yeah, so he's got an half time as well after that referee blew final whistle uh, for the half to make the scores nil nil at half time. Uh, well, Carshorton, I thought Carshorton played well. I mean, Carshorton had good spells and the goalkeeper had to pull off a couple of good saves from, from Femi and from um, Alex. Uh, yeah, um, Crossy Lima was sort of getting some work on the on his side and getting putting in some great crosses. And... Um, our corners um, seem to be seem to be improving as well. Some we about four or five corners in the first half, and um, they were right pinged right in, right on top of the six yard area. But unfortunately, we didn't have no one on in to um, finish him off. But um, yeah, nil nil at half time. Um, a good satisfying performance of the Robins, just missing that final touch. Uh, so second half commenced, and uh, Carl Shorten. I found themselves 1-0 down after 48 minutes. But what a goal to be to, to concede. I mean, the guys received it from about 
30 yards. Uh, no, no defenders closed him down. He was given all the space and time to line up his shot. And he smashes it home and top bins it from about 35, about 30 yards. Uh, stunning goal. It was going all over the place. And oh, you know, I'll keep uh, Danny Bracken in goal. Probably should have gone for it, but he thought it was going wide. So I didn't really make an attempt to save it. He thought it was going wide, but unfortunately it found the top corner. So I gave um, uh, the Rocks the 1 0 lead. So, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, they had a strong spell after that. But um, Carl Shorten sort of soaked it up and then got himself back into it. And um, on 71 minutes, um, leveled the scores. Uh, uh, Crossy Lima, like I said, was having a fantastic game for the Robins out on the wing there. Um, his cross found Matt Vega. Um, and he fired, and he fires it home from about six yards to make it one-one, and give him his second goal in two in two consecutive games. You know, he was a uh, you know took took it well. It was a really good finish, and after a good setup on Crossley Lima. Uh, yeah, so um, again we sort of said that. I don't think Danny Bracken again had too much to deal with. I don't think they had the real real shot on goal to sort of challenge. To have Danny Bracken worried or anything like that. A couple of easy crosses and a couple of back passes. But apart from that, I don't think he had an outstanding save to make the whole game, really. Um, but Carl Shorten, you know, pushed on. It looked like we got bit between the teeth. We just brought on Tommy Bradford, which seemed to give give the team a fresh fresh outlook. He seemed to be a bit more urgency. You know, Tommy Bradford coming on. Um, he, he comes on and, and puts, puts his heart and soul into it. And um, I made a bit of a difference, I think. I honestly, I honestly do think he come on and um, he, you know, put the helped coach towards giving the car short on the upper hand. And uh, and we did took advantage of it. And on seventy eight minutes, a free kick on the edge of the box. Um, it was given away. Uh, Tom Beer uh, fired in the free kick, and it was met by Crossley Lima. Who fired it home to make it two one to the Robins? Now I think it's been quite a while since we sort of um, come from behind and, like, to win the game, so that was that was good. Um, so um, yeah, but um, like, it was a uh, yeah good performance, and then we just sort of it got a bit nervy near the end, as it always does. It was still about twelve minutes left after we went two one up, and Bogner did turn the screw a little bit, but. Um, Luckily, we, we managed to hold it out and, def and defended very well to um, hang on for the uh, three points. So, um, yeah, good, good, um, needed win now after our sort of one one point in 12 games. So, it was a, a good boost. I should mention uh, playing in Bognor Regis starting line up was ex Robin Walter Figuera. And of course, he scored the penalty. Um, for Carl Shaw and the Flick against um, Bogner in the corresponding fixture. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, he's now, he left the club and decided Bogner Regis and started against us. Looked like he was playing sort of right wing. Um, pretty much kept him quiet and then he got substituted. So I thought it'd just be a normal thing. Carl Shaw and ex player doesn't really do it for us, but comes back to us and haunts us. But um, no, he, he didn't, thankfully. And um, yeah, he was substituted. So uh, yeah, really, really good win. Really pleased with that. I mean, uh, we needed that as well. If we, if we were to keep our slim playoff hopes um, alive, we needed to win that sort of to keep just just keep keep in the mix for it. And uh, yeah, we did, and uh, sort of broke the duck as well. Not like Bogner having uh, the upper hand over us at Colston Avenue for like three or four consecutive seasons. It was good to. Uh, uh, come around and win that one, especially coming from behind as well, you know. So, yeah, um, delighted that that I think that result puts us joint sixth, so it's just outside the playoff. Yeah, that result actually put us eighth, but uh, well, 48 points with Ken Island in seventh and Lewis in sixth, and just two points off uh, Cray Wonders, who defeated us on Saturday uh, in the final playoff position, but um. Our goal difference compared to Lewis and Canvey Island is um a, a lot lot worse. Ours is just plus two, Canvey is plus fourteen, Lewis is plus eighteen. So you know it's got to be a you know a bit of a turnaround there. But 
we're still in with the shout so we're delighted at that and um yeah like i say good win good to get the win over bognor aegis um over a good performance in a, in a good game so um yeah so hopefully now we can push on and just um sort of build on this again you know try and get some form together uh next up for the robins is a nice little trip to margit on saturday so um i'll be uh i'll be over for that one i'm doing a vlog from there uh, but um um this week oh, i'm gonna watch kingstonian v hastings so i might do a, a non-league vlog from there but um i'll certainly do a, a vlog from margate next weekend and hoping we can go there and get a good result and hopefully the weather will be nice as well because the past two times we've been there it's been cold wet and windy which isn't what you want on the east coast really especially in february so hopefully the weather will be better but um yeah so that's it from me aj uh really happy that we got the win today i think we deserved it um bogner came came with us you know it's tough for them really so away to harringay on saturday then away to car shorten on monday is a bit of an ask but um yeah now uh, just one thing um i'm gonna mention this um apparently bogner just had one of their flags stolen by some scallies so uh if anybody does find a um uh green uh green and white uh flag um anywhere around the area put in a bin or something like that uh, if they could return it to the football club a cash on the flag we can then forward it back to uh, the bogner regis fans but um yeah it's quite a nice flag as well i've seen it so yeah would have wouldn't have been cheap getting that done so hopefully that'll get found and um it'll get returned to its owner but um yeah that's it from me aj i'm signing off now thanks for watching and um i do appreciate it and uh until margate on saturday i will see you later Ta -ra.